Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to discuss a few topics that you should know before learning ReactJS. You know ReactJS is a JavaScript framework which is a lot popular nowadays. And there are some topics that you should know before taking any course, uh, before starting to uh, learning React. So these topics are important. Some people just uh, directly go to the React and they face some problems. Once you understand the basic topics that I will discuss in this video, it will be easy for you to start learning react at and make a better application with react js if you have already worked with react there are some questions that you might have asked yourself uh, how important require works how and what is webpack google browser file what is package bundler and what is this and map function or how how it work in java 7 es6 and maybe how to write uh, html code inside javascript and all of this uh, how what is JSX, JSX, and etc. There are some questions that you might ask yourself during learning React. So in this video, I will show you some topics that you should learn, and then you can decide. Uh, then you can start learning React. That will be easy for you to understand it. I cannot answer all of these questions in details, but I will give you the basic idea of what these things do and how they work. So I hope. This video will help you understand the, these concepts uh, better in the future. Uh, so, when you start learning React, of course, I assume you know basic of JavaScript. This is something that basic functions, how they work, and all of those things. Object oriented. At least you must know what is object and how you instantiate how these things work in uh, JavaScript and how JSON format work. Though it is not required. But JSON is the easiest way to understand object and how they are related to each other. If you know the JSON format files, then how they are arranged, that will be easier for you to understand the, the objects in JavaScript. The next thing is the this keyword. If you don't know about this, you must search about this one. This is a keyword in jo JavaScript. Just search uh, and read a few articles, you can uh, easily understand it. That is very important. And next thing is J6 and Babel. J6 is just the easiest way to uh, add HTML code inside JavaScript. That's it. Then Babel is a compiler. Compiler, it means if you write something in J6, most browsers do not understand this. You should uh, compile it or transform it to uh, vanilla JavaScript or the old version, older version of JavaScript. That is what ba Babel is going to do. So that is about J6. You should uh, read a few articles about this and a few examples before getting into React. So JSX is something very important to understand and Babel too. Next thing is ES6 and ES7. Of course, they are the newer version of JavaScript. ES means ECMAScript. Just take a, a before going to React, just go and read a few articles and see the new features in ES6 because there are some very good thing in like class constructor static functions like inheritance uh, in es6 which are very very important uh, to understand react better so you should check out the es6 or the newer version of ECMA script uh, before getting into react and the new features are almost uh, there are about 50 or 60 topics that you should learn about react ne the the things like class constructor extend and inheritance next thing you should know about package manager package manager there are some concepts like node.js you might know this one node.js is a, a package manager think of package as a library now javascript is a library we call it library but we can call it a package too charge.js is a package it is a library too the same thing is they are package manager it means you can use node.js or yarn to manage them for example you can install them in your project you can remove them you can do anything you want with them these are called package manager if you wanna work with react with large projects at least you must know how to use these package managers next thing you should know before learning react is package bundlers package bundlers are uh, tools that take all of your packages and they bundle them they compress them they can uh, do a lot of things with them they can aglify they can sort them of course you can put all of them in one in one file 
that might not work that might break but when you use package bundler the, the example is webpack like google browser 5 bizarre browser 5 they can uh, very uh, easily they can uh, bundle all your files let's say you are using multiple javascript libraries then they can uh, take all of this library they can package them in one file these are package bundler if you heard about web webpack or gulp that is the goal of the these things plus they can do the the css and uh, assets file too images all of these things next thing you should learn about cli or command line interface a little bit how to install packages how to in use uh, npm how to remove them how to do basic stuff with command line you should just before learning react you should know about these things and then you can take the react course any react course that will become easy for you then you can understand what is class how you can extend you know what the keyword the this keyword and how they work especially the in the large application when you develop with react this is very important uh, that you should know the basic of es6 and all those things there are some advanced topic you might go after react like web services uh, if you want to build any application with react that need you to have a backend like database you should search about web services there are some example like aws if you heard somewhere aws or amazon web services they are just the a cloud based service that give you access to the database and react can uh, easily be you can make a very uh, flexible application with react and then you can connect them using the api to these services you can uh, store your data to, your da to their database make a chat application something like that something very easy those are web services you might learn them after learning react as a database or as a backend like microsoft azure is something that they can do so this was it i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to comment below the goal of uh, this video of course was to give you just the idea of not going directly to uh, react because you will not learn everything just basic things you should know before learning react because while you develop an application you must know what you are doing just don't just um, imitate it what other people are saying or through the tutorial you must understand how these things work thanks for watching